While the US threatens to pull their entire pharmaceutical industry out of Ireland, Leo Varadkar goes out of his way to insult Donald Trump for no apparent reason. This is Ben Scallon and you're watching Gripped Media. Last week, US President Donald Trump announced that he would begin withdrawing US pharmaceutical companies from Ireland and bringing them back to the United States. And what kind of incentive would you give manufacturers of pharmaceuticals to make sure that we are not dependent on China anymore for this? But it's not only China. You take a look at Ireland, they make our drugs. Everybody makes our drugs except us. But we're bringing that whole supply chain back. Nobody has to tell me to do it. I've been talking about that for years. President Trump went on to explain that one of the reasons he was elected in 2016 was his America First foreign policy platform, where he promised to look after American workers and communities first and stop the export of US jobs and businesses abroad, something that other world leaders could learn a lot from. Now that the coronavirus has exposed America's over-reliance on overseas drug production, the US president wants to make sure that the industry comes home so that America can produce its own drugs in an emergency. However, while this move could be good for America, it's a potential catastrophe for Ireland's economy. It may or may not come as a surprise to you that Ireland's biggest export by far is pharmaceuticals. The country is home to around 120 pharma and biotech companies, many of which are American. For decades, Many huge US pharma companies like Pfizer and Merck have set up shop in the Republic of Ireland due to our famously low corporate tax rate. Last year alone, Ireland exported just under 50 billion euros worth of pharmaceutical and medicinal products, with around 21 billion of that going solely to the US. Now, all of that is under serious threat. So as we face this potential death blow to our economy, how did our caretaker leader, Leo Varadkar, respond? Well, a few days later, while arguing with Sinn Féin leader Mary Lou MacDonald over which of them gave the more generous welfare payments, Mr. Varadkar decided to have a go at Donald Trump. What happened in Northern Ireland, where Sinn Féin is in office? A hundred pounds a week. Nothing for the self-employed until June. And Sinn Féin ministers on their Facebook site promote the fact that they hand out food parcels to the poor. Rem reminiscent to me of Donald Trump handing out toilet roll after the hurricane hit the islands in the Caribbean. Now, we'll ignore the fact that mere hours before Mr. Varadkar said this, his own Minister for Housing, Owen Murphy, allowed himself to be pictured handing out food parcels. In other words, the exact same thing that Varadkar is criticizing Sinn Féin and Donald Trump for, his party is also guilty of. But really, that's besides the point. The real issue here is that while the President of America is threatening to devastate the Irish economy's biggest industry, our seat warmer leader is needlessly attacking and insulting him. Again, whatever you think of Donald Trump, there was absolutely no reason to bring him into that particular conversation. According to the Irish Pharmaceutical Healthcare Association, the Irish pharma sector employs almost 25,000 people directly and roughly the same number providing services to it. That's around 50,000 Irish jobs in one industry. Not only that, but Ireland is the largest net exporter of pharmaceuticals in the EU. Any threat to that will require careful negotiation and a reliance on goodwill to straighten out. Yet Mr. Varadkar is willing to risk it all just so that he can say orange man bad in the doll and look trendy. Obviously, everybody should be free to criticize the leader of another nation for bad policies or aggressive actions, but this was just a cheap shot, picking a fight for no good reason at all. Irish politicians and media have mindlessly parroted US Democrat talking points for years, bashing Trump relentlessly, but there's always a chance that it could come back to haunt us. If leaders like Leo Varadkar keep pushing their luck, we might all find that out the hard way. If you like this commentary and you want to see more like it, please be sure to share this video and let us know how you feel in the comments below. Thanks for watching.